I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on trigonometric equations. The question here is, consider the equation 5 over 2 cos 2x minus half equals to 3 sin x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. What are the solutions to the equation to two decimal places? So you definitely need a calculator for this one. Okay, let's begin by writing the equation bringing all the terms to one side. So we have 5 over 2 cos of 2x minus half minus 3 sin x equal to 0. Now cos of 2x should be written in sine square x form so that we get a quadratic equation, right? So we'll write this as 5 over 2 and 1 minus 2 sine square x minus half minus 3 sine x equals to 0. Let's open the brackets. We get 5 over 2 minus 5 over 2 times 2 is 5 sine square x and we have minus half minus 3 sine x equals to 0. We can combine these terms, but at the same time, what I'll do is I'll multiply by negative. It seems all are negative terms for us. So we'll bring them to the right side in a way. So we get 5 sine square x, right? We're multiplying by negative number, and this becomes plus 3 sine x, right? And, well, so if this becomes negative, that becomes positive. Do you understand? Uh, so let me write it once, and then we'll do it. Uh, plus half. Do you get the idea? Right? So we multiplied by negative each term, rearranged writing the square terms first and then in the proper order. Okay, now let's combine them. So we have 5 sine square x plus 3 sine x and here we have minus 4 over 2 and minus 4 over 2 can be written as minus 2. Correct. Now we have a quadratic equation in sign where leading coefficient is 5. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 and we need sum as 3. That means 7, uh, that means 5 and 2, right? So when you add them up, we get 3. So we can write this as 5 sine square x plus 5 sine x minus 2 sine minus 2 equals to 0 and we can factor this by taking 5 sin x common and we get sin x plus 1 here we can take minus 2 common sin x plus 1 equals to 0 so that gives us factored form of this particular equation so the factored form will be sin x plus 1 times 5 sin x minus 2 equals to 0. So that is the factored form of the given equation. Now clearly we have two sets of solutions. One is sin x equals to minus 1. The other one is sin x is equal to 2 over 5. Now our method of doing it is kind of different. It is sin x minus 1, I use my sin graph. And for sin x equals to 2 over 5, I use the coordinate plane. We say sin x is 2 over 5, that means the solution lies in one of these two coordinates. And minus 1 means that is the solution, which is, we know, x is in this case, when we are talking about 0 to 2 pi, is 3 pi by 2. So that is when sin x is negative 1. Now to find when sin x is 2 over 5, we'll take help of our calculators set in radians. So we'll say sin inverse of 2 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.4115. So acute angle here is 0 0.4115. So that is one solution. The other one will be pi minus this acute angle. So we will do shift 
and pi minus 0.4115 equals to 2.7 so we get two answers here so we can write x as 0.4115 or 2.730 right which is pi minus the alpha the acute angle so so these are the two possible solutions from the other factor now we have to round them to two decimal places that means we'll even round 3 pi by 2 correct we have to round this also we do not want exact values so we'll do 3 times shift pi divided by 2 equals to uh, convert to decimals so we can write this as 4.71 approximately to 2 decimal places here we can round this to 0 0.41 and this can be rounded to 2.7 Three, correct? So these are the three answers rounded to two decimal places. So kind of important to understand. And now let me write down my answers, which are x is equals to 4.71, 0 0.41, and 2.73. So that is how we are going to answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.